In this lesson, we will use the free online graphing calculator linked below to graph the function, adjust the window, then determine derivative function values. We are given f of x equals 1 third x cubed minus 4x plus 2, and we're asked to find f prime of 0, f prime of 2, and f prime of negative 3. Remember, the derivative function value is the slope of the tangent line at a given x value, which we will verify once we find these derivative function values. To begin, we go to the graphing calculator and enter the given function. For this calculator, it's important to recognize that we find derivative function values using the graphing feature of the calculator, not the calculation window below. Let's clear the existing functions and enter the given function, f of x equals 1 third x cubed minus 4x plus 2. The character exponent key from the keyboard is shift 6. Next, let's click plot graphs. Let's adjust the window so we have a better view of the graph. We can do this several ways. One way is to adjust the window manually by clicking on the window tab and adjusting the max and min values for the x and y axes. Another way though would be to zoom out or zoom in using the small plus or minus buttons in the lower right hand corner of the graph. We can also shift the graph left, right, up and down. Let's go ahead and try zooming out by clicking the minus. Now we have a nice view of the graph. Let's go ahead and shift the graph down by clicking the up button. And now we have a nice view of the function. To calculate the derivative function values at x equals 0, x equals 2, and x equals negative 3, we click the calculation tab in the upper left, click the drop down menu next to mode, and select derivative. Next we're asked to click on the curve. From here we simply enter the x values where we want the derivative. We want f prime of 0, so we leave the value of x at 0, click calculate, and the derivative and the derivative function value at x equals 0 is equal to negative 4, meaning f prime of 0 is equal to negative 4. Notice how the information is also recorded below in the calculation window. Next we want to find f prime of 2, so we change the x phi to 2, click calculate, f prime of 2 is equal to 0, and finally we want f prime of negative 3, we change x phi to negative 3, click calculate, f prime of 3 is equal to 5. Let's go ahead and record these derivative function values and then we'll verify they are the slopes of the tangent lines at the given x values. f prime of 0 is equal to negative 4, f prime of 2 is equal to 0, and f prime of negative 3 is equal to 5. And again, let's verify these do represent the slopes of the tangent lines at the given x values f prime of 0 indicates the slope of the tangent line at x equals 0 is equal to negative 4. Going to the graph, here is the point on the function where x equals 0. If we sketch the tangent line, the slope of the black tangent line is negative 4. f prime of 2 equals 0 indicates the slope of the tangent line is 0 when x is equal to 2. The point on the graph when x equals 2 is this point here, which represents a relative minimum. If we sketch the tangent line at that point, we do have a horizontal line where the slope is equal to 0. And then finally, f prime of negative 3 equals 5 indicates at the point on the graph where x equals negative 3, which is this point here, the slope of the tangent line is 5. And if we sketch the tangent line, the slope is positive 5. I hope you found this helpful.